हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू एजुकेशन वर्ल्ड नॉट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब एंड लाइक इफ यू लाइक इट देन लाइक इट एंड डू सब्सक्राइब फैनल शा चैनल बिकॉज दिस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ हिज चैनल ओनली दिस इज अ चैनल विच प्रोवाइड्स एडुकेशन बाई बुक्स वी गो विथ अ कॉर्स बाय बुक्स so we'll go with it now yeah so uh yeah it's okay so everyone today our tra- today we have come with the course with birds today's our chapter is birds so in birds we'll learn about feathers how birds fly their beaks you know red beaks how they have we have feet and claws birds and birds habits nest of birds we'll learn this much so let us start with feathers i think all of you have seen pigeons right a uh, pigeons bod- body is streamlined yeah we'll come to it later but everyone have seen a pigeon right a pigeon a pigeon is a bird which almost everyone have seen you have seen their feathers also the furry thing with a needle like needle and some fur like thing here he are wait I'll see show you the picture we have the picture of the feather i think all of you know about it what is feather let us come body feathers cover a bird's body means like we wear clothes birds have feathers down feathers are small and soft and fluffy wow very soft yeah that keep the bird warm during the flight feather and we come to the flight feathers where by which they fly in flight feathers they are long and help a bird to fly flight feathers are present on the tail and wings like their wings they have they are made up of feather is fluffy wow uh, main that is main thing about a bird if they do not have special feathers they are not able to fly that is the reason now we come to the kinds of birds most of the birds can fly but a few birds that cannot fly as sparrow parrot and crow these are the birds which can fly so they are flying birds but birds like ostrich emu and penguin cannot fly but they then they are called flightless birds as they are not able to fly they are named as the flightless bird we come how birds fly this is a very good topic i think from this chapter how birds fly i told you what birds have a streamlined body which have stream attached to the body with the help of strong muscles they can fly anywhere a fish i think i'm giving you an example of a fish a fish also has a streamlined body so that so that the fish can can cut the flow of water and swim properly this is the thing with the birds birds do also have a streamlined body they have it because the pressure of the air which is not letting them fly the streamlined body helps them to fly easily i think you have seen the airplane airplane also have a streamlined body so that it can fly cut the air and fly away they have very strong muscles birds have very strong muscles now we come to the wing movement of 
their wing. Like when their wings are up, they are called up stroke. When they are down, they are called down stroke. So, in up stroke movement, wing moves upward and backward in down stroke. Movement wings move downward and forward and forward. Yeah, and the tail of a bird helps it to change its direction. Your yeah, tail is very important. You have seen in the uh, airplane. This is the airplane, and if we it wants to turn here, this moves like tilt because it like this it moves. You know. Yeah. We come to the session of beak. Beaks. Birds do not have teeth. They use their beaks to catch and eat food. Wow, we have so many teeth, and they have only one beak, but that too so big, you know. Some have small, some have big. There are different birds and have different kinds of beaks depending on the food they eat. Everything depends on the type of food they eat. Wow, I did not know it. It is a fact. Now birds like sparrow, pigeon, and peacock have short, hard, and strong beaks to carry crush seeds and grains they eat. Oh. We have many examples like um, birds like eagle, vulture have hawk, have strong, sharp, and hooked teeth to tear the flesh of their prey. Hummingbird and the sunbird have long and pointed beaks, you know. You're so... To point the... To take the nectar from the flowers. Water birds, like duck, have goose, have broad and flat beaks with a tiny hole on either side to flow out of the muddy water. Now we come to the parrot has a short and curved beak to crack nuts and seeds. Woodpecker has a strong pointed and sharp chisel like beak to make holes on a tree trunk and pull out insects. Hoopoo has a long slender and pointed beak to pull one out insect from flowers and holes. Now we come towards birds' habits. Um, birds show different types of feeding habits and behavior. Most of the birds, most of the birds lay eggs in their nests and take care of their young ones. They feed their babies and protect them from their enemies. Most of the birds feed on small insects and other wow. Small fall insects are eaten that we didn't know. Now we come to the exercise. We have an exercise. Birds have dash to eat food. Birds have dash to eat food. What is the thing that the birds have to eat food? You all know. If you know, then tell me. Yeah, then till that, I'm telling you all the answer. The answer is, yeah, the answer is that birds have dash to eat food. Beaks. Right now only we discussed all types of beaks. Tail helps the bird to change the dash. I gave you the example of an airplane. The tail, what does it do? It helps to change the direction, right? Yeah. Bird flaps their dash to fly. Of course, wings, you know. Of course, wings. Fly fellows help a bird to dash. To the main feathers, what does it do to a bird? Right now, I discussed with you that it helps a bird to fly. This is not discussed. It is out of course. We are not going to take this. But for your knowledge, I am giving you the answer. Birds have two feet with dash. 
Birds have two feet with claws. This we have not done because we have taken out from the syllabus. Nests. Now we come to the nest. Oh wow, so cute. Um, see, th this is the thing now we are seeing. Seed. A sparrow. A cuckoo. Does not make its nest. It lays its egg in a crow's nest. Wow. A general knowledge questionnaire. A chiller bird use leaves with its beak and its thread and wool to sew leaves. See, this is the picture. Wow, amazing, yeah? Yeah, I hope you all saw this page, yo. Now, let us come to the next picture. Oh, wow, we have come to the end of the chapter. Birds have dash legs. You know, we have cancelled this. Anyway. Um, I'm giving you answers. Birds have two legs. Birds keep their bodies warm by body feathers. The shape of a bird body is look like. Yeah, I think I forgot to give you this example. A ship, a boat. A boat is an example of a bird. Fish also is the example but no option is given. Which of the following bird has short, hard and strong beak? Pigeons have short, hard, and strong beak. Which of the following birds have tail long? Okay, this is not in our syllabus. We're skipping it out. Now there are question answers. Yeah, what helps a what helps a bird to fly? If you know, please write in the chat box and tell me because I don't know. I'm telling you the. What shaped body of birds helps them to fly? What helps a bird to change its direction during the flying? Uh, one more example, the tail. Yeah, the tail is the example. Where do birds lay egg? Oh, uh, of course, every one little child would be also knowing that a bird lays ne egg in its nest. Except some, yeah. Which type of beak the water birds have and what is its use? Yeah. Water birds like duck and goose have broad and flat beaks with tiny holes on either side to flow out the muddy water. So guys, thank you. We end our syllabus here. We will come with a new chapter. I'll tell you the name of the chapter. One second. We'll come with states of matter is the third chapter which we are going to take. It is a very easy chapter, I can tell you. So thank you. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and if you like the video, you have to subscribe it. Till then, meet you in the next video. Alright, let's go!